Hi, I'm Chris Hart. I'm a cartoonist. And today I'm going to show you how to draw a hippo. We'll learn some principles of drawing cartoons along the way. So let's have a funny kind of exaggerated look for this guy. Hippos have a little bit of a split forehead look on them, typically. The eyes are very wide apart, so I like to draw them very close together. Gives it a cartoony look. The bottom, the mouth here, is also split. Kind of a confused little hippo. Well, let's, let's just simplify this. That might be a good idea. and little tiny arms. And the principle I want to show you is that when you have a giant character like this, you want to give him tiny little other attributes and features. Otherwise, everything is big. It looks just kind of clunky, but it's funny to exaggerate it. Have a big guy like this with little tiny ears and little tiny arms and nails. Also because he's a cartoon, I think I'm going to simplify those nostrils. Make them kind of kooky, in fact. Not exactly matching. And again, well, first of all, if we bring the rump, rump way down, because the center of gravity is very low, and I'm going to put a little angle on this. And the legs will be very small. They aren't hippos, but we're going to even exaggerate it more. Again, to contrast with the big parts. Little tiny nails. Now I'm going to bring this out. It looks like it could use a little more here. Now he's really bottom heavy. And a little tail. How about we give him a little bit of a chest? Just see how that looks. What do you think? Yeah, I like that. It's a little kookier. All right, so there is our hippo guy. And I'm going to show you a finished version in a moment. Okay, so this is the final version. And, uh, well, the feel of the camera is a little small, so you can see his feet and everything down here as he's kind of waddling. but. You basically get the idea, and I made a few changes to the guy. For instance, he used to have his hands right on his face, kind of worried, but his expression was broad enough that I thought it did all the heavy lifting. I just put the hands in kind of a ready position. Well, if you'd like to see some more animals and some more how to draws and some free tutorials and the other books, please visit me at chrishartbooks.com. And thanks for taking a look today.